Hello and greetings everyone. My name is Steve. Welcome Bull Runners. Welcome to the Bull Runners community. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. In this video today, I want to discuss the evolution of crypto. I want to highlight the top five tokens of our industry and just see how the evolution happened. And then zoom back in on Bull Run and highlight what makes Bull Run so unique in this space. In order to understand the full picture, let me zoom out. In the 2008, when the financial crisis took place, it was a disaster. The whole financial market broke down. 2008, it was a big bubble that busted. The housing market crashed and the whole economy crashed. Satoshi Nakamoto. That inspired him to come up with Bitcoin. He wrote a white paper and two months later on, he actually did his first mining. So with that background in mind, let's get into CoinMarketCap. If we get into CoinMarketCap, we see our top five listings here. It's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Binance. And then we have two stable coins. So let's start with Bitcoin. The whole idea of this video is to point out the uniqueness. What sets these different cryptocurrencies apart? What makes them unique and how they're built on top of each other? So Bitcoin is the father of all cryptocurrencies. The strength of Bitcoin is the fact, mere fact that it is the first and pioneering cryptocurrency. It's the most adapted, the most liquid and uh, the most recognized cryptocurrency right now in the space. And because it has such a large following, large community, merchants that are accepting Bitcoin as payments, etc. It is the father of all cryptocurrencies. Because of it, many other platforms emerged. What makes Bitcoin unique is it's the first of its kind. It's the one that brought in the whole revolutionary idea of a distributed ledger technology, which is dubbed now as blockchain. It is the one that single-handedly had a, at its peak over a trillion dollar market cap when the entire cryptocurrency market cap was sitting at a three, roughly at a three trillion. So it had one third of the entire cryptocurrency market cap. It has the, the largest community with the biggest following and it's the most widely known and widely accepted cryptocurrency to date. That's what sets Bitcoin really apart. So those are, those are in a nutshell the strengths of Bitcoin. It's the scarcity. There's only 21 million in supply. It has a large community. It is the first of its kind, pioneer, revolutionary technology it came out with. And it's the father of cryptocurrency and blockchain. Now, let's go to Ethereum. And keep in mind, these are building on top of each other. So now, Bitcoin brought the revolutionary technology. Bitcoin came with a large community, large following. It's being widely used. It's accepted. Now, with that in mind, Ethereum came and said, OK, now we have the technology. We got the large community. We got the adaptation going on slowly, slowly. But now what's lacking is we can't scale it. We need more of this because Bitcoin is not solving every problem that we need. It's not scalable. And let's build a platform that can help us utilize this technology more by bringing more use cases. Let's scale it so that a larger amount of people can use it and let's make it accessible to as many people as possible. So these are the three things that Ethereum built upon Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin brought the technology, uh, the revolutionary idea of cryptocurrency distributed ledger technology. But now the issue was how do we scale it? How do we bring it out to more people? How do we bring more use cases to it? And that's when Ethereum comes in. Ethereum said that the first blockchain that was offering so-called smart contracts on their blockchain, meaning all these different apps, lending platforms like Aave, exchanges such as Uniswap, financial instruments like Yarn Finance, all these uh, stable coins, and all these other apps that we ex we have now with, that we're actively using right now on Ethereum, these are all these were all birthed because the idea of Ethereum, the problem that it came to solve, meaning it offered a platform so that multiple apps can be built on them to facilitate and to grow the whole idea that Bitcoin revolutionized. Now, some of very notable and actually over 40 of the top 100 cryptocurrencies based on uh, crypt, uh, coin market cap all came out of Ethereum, notably even the third cryptocurrency that I'm about to talk about, which is Binance. If we go to Binance, Binance built on top of Ethereum by solving another problem. Now, Binance plays a whole different role. 
shift and then said, okay, the focus has been on technology, on community, on apps, on developing, but the focus should go back into the token. And that's when Binance comes in. Their focusing now is sustainability. They want a token that is sustainable. They focus in on staking. They are the number one most staked cryptocurrency in the space. They have uh, over 84% of their tokens are staked and they have a very rigorous burning schedule and they are the most deflationary blockchain in the space. So they understand that a token in order to be sustainable, it needs to do those two things. It needs to have a very strong burn schedule and it has to have a high amount of staking percentage. Those are the th two things that amongst many that Binance is shining on. They created the largest ecosystem within all the apps that put all the necessary apps together that are needed, which is an exchange a staking platform. They have NFTs. They have a Binance debit card. They have all these use cases that were birthed out of Ethereum and put them all in one place and then laid emphasis now on the token on how to build a sustainable deflationary ecosystem around it. So community, this was just a short overview to just shine a light on how the evolution of crypto has taken place. Now, we didn't forget about the stable coins. The volatility nature of cryptocurrencies has a lot of crypto enthusiasts spooked. So because the nature of the high volatility, one day your crypto can go up 80% and the next day it drops another 50%. So that's why the stable coins are vital in the space. It helps in just bringing that stability into the, into crypto. And it also serves to off ramp your cryptocurrency into fiat and back into your bank. Now, having all this in mind, how does all this tie up to bull run? Starting with Bitcoin comparison. We're not saying we are Bitcoin. We're not saying we're Ethereum. We are not saying we are any of the stable coin. And we are definitely not saying we are Binance. The whole message here is that we took the strengths, the uniqueness of those top five cryptocurrencies and applied them into our ecosystem. Now, all those four pieces are very well utilized in the bull run ecosystem. So first of all, uh, we have a purpose and that purpose is to solve the liquidity issue. So bull run is a solution focused ecosystem that specifically aims to solve the liquidity issue. Okay. How we go about doing that? We're starting with a very low supply of tokens and we make sure that we have a very deflationary mechanism in place. How we do, how did we go about that? Uh, first of all, we made sure that we added the staking platform that we have. It's a dual staking platform. It's for both for the NFTs and the BRL tokens. So this dual staking platform does two things. First of all, those who participate in the platform are able to get USDC distributions, which are generated by the volume with every buy and sell. You are part of the distribution, USDC distribution pool on the NFT side is once you purchase your, your NFT boosters, these are your NFT booster NFTs. You can purchase these and these like the name suggests boost your USDC distributions. All the revenue generated from these boosters go towards adding to that liquidity. It focuses on solving the liquidity issue. It's a scalable mechanism that we have built in into our ecosystem, which you can stake and boost your distributions up to 100%. 100% of these revenue generated from these boosters are added into the liquidity. That's for one. For two, uh, the community is heavily involved in this. Those who decide to participate in the staking platform which are the community members are the ones that are receiving these USDC distributions. And then we have the true ban, which is very important to build a sustainable ecosystem, as we mentioned earlier, and Binance is heavily doing that. You need a high staking amount and a solid and effective burning mechanism. Before we get into the true ban, let's take to the staking. The way our staking works is we are staking 75.3% of the total supply of BRL. This makes us the second most staked token only behind Binance itself. And as you see, we started with a million tokens in total supply. Now we are down to 981,600. Not only is it enough to have a high staking percentage and a very effective burning mechanism, but retaining liquidity is the basis of a sustainable ecosystem. We emphasize that 
And you see that's why the majority of the taxes go towards adding into our liquidity pool, both on the buy and the sell side. The majority of the taxes goes towards retaining the liquidity. Like we mentioned, bulldozer, this goes towards the staking distributions. So every 2% on the buy side, 2%, on the sell side, 3% go towards the community for those who are who, those who decide to participate on the pl staking platform to bring stability into the otherwise very volatile market we are paired with usdc not with ethereum even though we're on the e ethereum blockchain this is to just bring the stability that is very much needed into this space the liquidity is uh is, be is very healthy our market cap has been consistently around the 1.5 mark and our liquidity to market cap ratio is very very healthy besides a small still being a small niche bitcoin brought much attention into blockchain and other cryptocurrencies as the father of all cryptocurrencies what it represents is innovation scarcity demand and community that's what it represents then ethereum came in and uh, said okay let's build more use cases and utilities to bring more eyeballs to us and that attracts more retailers into the space, into the crypto space. That's what Ethereum brought in. The scalability, the use cases, the utilities, and the different of the different apps that were being built on that platform. And then Binance, they came in to say, okay, now we have the platform, we have the revolutionary technology, but now let's shift our focus on the token itself. Let's make the token sustainable. And then finally, we are paired with a stable coin, with the USDC stable coin, to bring more stability into the otherwise very volatile market. These are the four things that were implemented, that we used from the pioneers and the first cryptocurrencies that were, bu that were building on top of each other, each stage solving a different problem. We took all that and put them in the bull run ecosystem all bundled up in one place we have the scarcity aspect of it we have the deflationary aspect of it we are the second most staked uh, token only behind binance itself we have a uh, scalability we have boosters that can be purchased to solve the to add into the, our liquidity we have a high liquidity retention and we have a very strong burn rate and this makes bull run a very unique ecosystem it is new into this space and it's something that has not been done before it has all the four aspects of our top five tokens three of them are cryptocurrencies and two of them are stable coins and we took all their strengths and put them in into bull run and made bull run a complete ecosystem that touches on all five of those cryptocurrencies this makes us very unique, very focused, very driven, and with one purpose and pu one purpose only, to have a stable, sustainable, deflationary ecosystem that is built for the long term. We are here to stay. We are built to be retaining liquidity. We are built to be sustainable. We are built to be able to last throughout this bear market and to thrive once the market recovers and the economy as a whole recovers and retailers gain that trust back that has been lost because of all these other black swan events that has been happening. Till then, we'll keep building, we'll keep educating, and we'll keep pointing out our strengths and what sets us apart in this space. Community, I hope this video was informational to you and the message came across. I wish everyone a wonderful rest of the day. And as always, let's keep in touch.